Back in the building, man, for episode four, season five, man. Back in this thing in the basement with your favorite bearded brothers, man. You already know what it is. Beers, bourbon, whiskey. Everybody loves BBW. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Square Holder down again. Yes, sir. My man Bo in the building. What's up? And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man, let's get to this right here. It's a motherfucking Ezra Brooks. Ezra. I'm not hip to this at all. Like, I don't know nothing about Ezra Brooks. Uh, Angry Principal put us on, though. So, Angry Principal, uh, you know, hip us to a little something, dog. So, I had the Ezra Brooks number seven. Yeah, uh, seven. Mm -hmm. So, it's a seven-year um, bourbon. Okay. And then I saw this walking through. Uh, it's a barrel pick uh, from Plum Market. So, I saw that um, on my way here today. I said, let's try this one. Shout I'll see how Plum it goes. Market. Plum the, Market? You can find some deals at Plum yeah, Market, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Plum yeah, Market. Right. Plum Market, okay. But uh, the Ezra Brooks uh, 7 was so good. That That is really, really good. Mm -hmm. okay. I said, we got to try this one. And this is their distiller's collection. So they're trying to do some barrel picks and some single barrel. This is a 107 proof single barrel. Single barrel. They're trying some higher proof single barrel uh, selections out of the Lux Road Distillery. Okay. Out of Bardstown, Kentucky. So... Um, pretty cool. Yeah, mm. so I, I thought it was pretty good when Ezra Brooks didn't it didn't disappoint the last time. I'm hoping <laughs> this will do the same job this time. All right, so yeah, we hopeful for the same thing. And you did mention Lux Road. I think earlier we talked about uh, this also being a distillery that makes Rebel Yell, which uh, Rebel Yell has always been pretty good for. Yeah, me. yeah, I mess with you. And now it's just Rebel. They took the yell off. Right, there. they took the yell off. Right, to be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that's what happened because we was actually when we was in Louisville last time, I picked up. A different one, um, and nobody knew it was Rebel Yell because it just said Rebel. They was like, dog, it ain't Rebel Yell. I'm like, dog, you got to turn it on the back. On the back, it said, though. And I can't remember which one it was because I brought it home to do on the show, mm -hmm. but the shit was so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. I dropped that shit, so it's gone, bro. I'm sorry. So, that was okay. <laughs> so, you're, you're. I'm sorry. I so drank that shit. Your regular Rebel Yell was uh, a pretty cheap. Low cost yeah, yeah, burger. Yeah, exactly. yeah. The Rebel has been kicked up to forty bucks a bottle. Right, because I paid for just because they dropped the yell off of there. Well, no, I it jumped up to forty dollars because uh, that one they was also, twenty though. Uh, maybe no at that particular at that, spot. At that spot, but yeah. up here is thirty eight. Oh, I hate as that. a barrel pick at Plum Market. Again, Plum Market, okay, at, for thirty eight. So the uh, same way they did. Um, Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. they dropped the budget one, and now they've increased the price. They're doing the okay. same thing with Rebel Yell, gotcha. dropped the yell off of it, and brought up the price. Yeah. But Ezra Brooks is out of the same distillery, same mash bill. We're dealing with the same gotcha. kind of stuff. Okay. It's just this is a, a single barrel and 107. All right, cool, because I, I enjoy Re a Rebel. <laughs> I guess it's not Rebel Yell <laughs> right. anymore. Let's, Let's pop get to it. Hey, look, no, I'm saying, let's talk it. God damn it. Pop that shit. Talk <laughs> <laughs> like, pop. There we go. Right. Right. Okay. So that's that new bottle pop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually haven't had this one yet. All right, so let's see what it's, what it's working with, what it's twerking with. Twerk team. <laughs> what happened to the twerk team? They still around? I don't know. We need one for the show. Though. I don't know, right? Yeah. <laughs> twerk team for the show and shit. Yeah, intermission. Right, intermission, twerking for birth. Yeah. <laughs> you have a fundraiser, right? <laughs> Right. Twerking for titties. You know? <laughs> Do like like breast cancer, you know? Yeah. No, right. there you yeah. go. Twerking That's, for titties. I know? like that though. There you go. That's something to think about. Sound like a night at the Stroop Club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Twerking for Titty Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hey. Shout out to yeah. Patties. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Patties. <laughs> just just cuz. Just shout out to Patties, man. Yeah, dollar MGDs on Mondays and shit. You go up there and watch Monday Night Football get so oh man. Patties right. Patty Show Club. Show win, like there, boy. Mm. Did we start yet? Yeah, we are. Oh, sir. we started. Oh, yeah. oh what's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <it> <laughs> All right, so I, I, I guess I, I jumped ahead because I've already sipped it, and I'm surprised because it, it's it's sweeter than it smells, which is odd to me. I mean. I may be wrong. I got like a floral note off the the, um, the smell. Yep. But then on the taste, cinnamon. I got something I got sweet. caramel, cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Something sweet. Yep. Yeah, a lot, a lot sweeter I don't, taste. I don't get the I don't get the floral at the nose. I don't get much of I don't know. I got a little floral. Like, yeah. How you walk past the door of a floral? Hey, look, I got the yeah. I got the COVID nineteen nose. Like, I, <laughs> I don't smell shit on the nose. This is, I don't know why. Like I don't know if it's the, maybe it's the smoke of my cigar covered. 
I don't get it. I get trial on the taste, but not on the smell. Mm. I don't. It's it tastes like. All right, this is about to be weird. It's yeah, like you walk past the floor, <coughs> past the door. It tastes like it's half that whiff. It tastes like half chewed uh, oh. big red. <laughs> Uh, like like cinnamon like, uh, like cinnamon be, gum without, I get that without the cinnamon. cinnamon. I didn't get yeah. that much cinnamon. Got the cinnamon caramel, but I don't know about the big red. Yeah, I don't know about I the said, big red. I said half chew. Mm. <laughs> oh, half chew, like it's dead. Like the, I feel the taste yeah. going away. You feel me? Yeah. No, I thought you said you pulled See, it. See my man feel me, dog. I thought you said you pulled it out from under the desk chew kind of thing. Nah, no, nah, not that long. <laughs> Just like you chew it a few times and shit, you know. Cinnamon it's caramel, the hint. floral. Yep. That's what I'm getting. Yep, I'm getting the same. Yeah. I don't have nothing on the smell still. Okay. Like when I smell it, it's, I just smell alcohol. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not really a hug though. It's just kind of not really. Eh. Kind of disappear. Yeah. Um. And plus it's 107, not 120 what we yeah. just had. So. That might be why yeah. though. Um, I don't want to say our palates are all burnt out, but <laughs> not right now. No, no, no. I, and it, this is gonna be weird for me to say, I think, but uh, cause it, cause it does have some sweetness to it, but I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. And I, I right, cause it sounds, it, it, it seems like it's something I like. I, I don't like it. I'm either. really digging it with the cigar. Let's see if that's. And then uh, this is one of those ones I could drink neat, make it an everyday plus. If I had to mix it, I wouldn't feel bad. I like it. I, I wouldn't like feel it. bad mixing it. Even though it was over 100 proof, I wouldn't feel bad mixing this at all. You know, even, it even has like, uh, so you know if you're drinking coffee, and sometimes when you swallow it, you get kind of like a bitter aftertaste, aftertaste right? I kind of get like that, that feeling with, with it, you know? Which I enjoy, because I love coffee and shit, you know? And this, is hella, this is hella weird. I don't know what just happened here. But I smoke with it and drank it, and I got an orange aftertaste. How is that even possible? I didn't get any citrus at all. I didn't get any, any yeah, fruit. Yeah, I got a citrus <laughs> aftertaste with the, with the smoke. Like, I don't know what happened. I didn't get citrus at all. So this, to me, is more, what's the word, savory? Mm-hmm. This is a more savory bourbon than it would be. I would say, yeah, yeah more savory. It be. It's, like, it's, this is not your summer bourbon. This is a winter oh, bourbon. Oh, yeah, definitely. Trying to January, stay warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. this one I would push to the back of the, the cabinet until come winter, and then I'll bring it back out. I like I it. I I'm like it. Pushing it to the back of the cabin anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want that motherfucker. Screw it. What you think about it, bro? It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's not. It's just not good either, though. Like, What's I don't the know. price point on this one? Yeah, 38. 38? 38, yeah. Okay. That, that, makes me like it even, that makes me like it even more right there. Yeah. For the 40 ball. I don't know. Yeah. 107? I it's buy not it. harsh. I revisit. Yeah. It's hell and not harsh for 107. Right. Like, honestly. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what it is, though. It looks like this is gonna be a, around the all over this the board. Be, yeah, 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 all over the board for this, this one. Yeah. Be different. I like it though. I mean, it, like I said, it, it could like be an every day. It could be an every day for me, especially if I want to mix it with the do the old fashioned or something, yeah. mm-hmm. or mix it with some of, some other concoction. And that 38, 38 yeah. bucks a bottle. Yeah, it's you not, can mix it. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not bad. Mix. I'm not breaking the bank to right. uh, to deal with. I don't know, it's something missing. I, it's like almost like a flat pop. Like it's something missing. I, I don't know. I no, just, for you, you throw a bunch of fruit and sugar in there. <laughs> right. You like it. And make it Kool Aid like the rest of this shit. Yeah. Ooh, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Things are always talking shit. <laughs> See, I don't, yeah. Damn, this is one of the, yeah. Okay, so now, mm-hmm. now that I'm drinking it a little later, I'm definitely getting a lot of char on it. Mm-hmm. A lot more char than I got before. So that's, you know, it's evolving as you. Leave it open for a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like this. This is actually a pretty good. One. Good job, Plum Market. You I would, a good I would, if we're talking about Lux Row Distillery, I think I would rather have Rebel Yale. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm comfortable in saying that I would rather have a Rebel. I'm a fan. And yeah. it's dark skin. <laughs> he said it's dark skin. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I mean, it's been aged for a little while and shit. Um, yeah. No, I think we gonna be. Uh, How long has this woman? I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it on the, the bottom. One was you eight said the years. one you had was seven? Is it eight year? So I've had the Ezra seven. I know that's a seven year bourbon. Mm-hmm. This one I'm it not might sure. Might not say on there. Uh, no, I don't. May see not that. be an age statement on this one. Yeah, yeah, I don't see no age statement. It's a bottle statement, but not an age statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I like it. This, yeah, this, I this like is it. a good one. 
Well, we are, I think we got, I'm interested to go around and see what we got. Now I'm see. getting that coffee that you were talking about. Mm. Mm. Now I'm, I'm finally getting it. A little on. bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did catch that at the I'm end. getting it now. Before I smoked. I'm telling you, when I smoked, I, it, was, it was an orange in that bitch somewhere. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, tripping, though. I'm telling you, I ain't tripping. It's an orange in that motherfucker. <laughs> orange in that bitch somewhere. Mm-hmm. Orange somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere here. Hey. And I, like, I love orange juice. And it pairs well with my cigar, so I'm, I'm good. This is a good, good pairing for me. This is the first time that we've been in disagreement, for real, for real, in a while. But I disagree. I disagree, hard huh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. I ain't, I ain't fucking with this. <laughs> I'm a fan. I heard good things about it. I had this is my first time having it. I, I like it. So real quick to piggyback on something y'all said about it being a, a winner, uh, more of a winner drink and shit. What like? Why is that though? Like, uh, like some some bourbons will be a little lighter. Yeah. And so they'd be good for having for the summer. Kind of summer kind. Yeah, of this one to me is a little Bold. darker, uh, a little. Uh, Heavier taste, yeah, uh, more savory. That's, that's so I would, like I would want it to in front of the fireplace. Yeah, 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 yeah not yeah, in front yeah. of the fire pit outside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I fuck with you. I fuck with you on that one. All right, I fireplace in that fire pit. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I think we got. Yeah, we need to put that as a. We should coin that. <laughs> yeah, we should coin that shit, dog. Yeah, I might have to edit that part. There you go. Somebody might steal that shit. Fireplace. Uh, yeah. yeah, so let's let's go around for these uh for these votes and shit. I I think y'all already know where mine is and shit. It's in the back of the cabin with this motherfucker. <laughs> wintertime or summertime, nigga. <laughs> but <laughs> right, period. <laughs> hey, principal. <laughs> So I'm gonna What'd give you it say, a bro? three to three and a half, uh, especially if it's in the winter. It'll definitely be higher to that three and a half. Summertime, I'll rank it a little lower. Price point, I think it's a good price point at thirty-eight bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, barrel pig, you know, it's a store choice, but you know, it, it, this worked well for me, especially with my cigar. Yeah. Fireplace time, not fire pit time. Gotcha. <laughs> we're really gonna start using that though. I think I think we're gonna start really using that to gauge some things. Um, but what you say, bro? So. Knowing my palate and um, my budget and whatnot, like 38, 38 bucks, that's a pretty good price point for this, I think. Um, you can drink it straight. You can you can mix it if you want, I guess. Um, yeah, I agree. I think it's more of a winter drink. But um, I, I like it. I, I give it a solid three and a half. Three and a half black power fist. I like yeah, it. Three and a half. I'll definitely revisit it. Shit. All right, well, uh, let me see here. Do I want to go to Square first before I kill it, kill the whole shit? Square, what you say, bro? We're going to go to you first, because I'm about to, motherfucker. <laughs> Hammer. Hell yeah, I'm about to, shit. I looked it up, though. It is seven. It was eight, seven, eight okay. Years. They say anything is seven with them. That's their number. Everything is seven. Okay, gosh. And then just off the price point, I got to go. First thing I thought, I thought it was cool, and then I heard the price, so I'm like, I'm always on the bargain point, so. For sure. Hey, how does it pair with your tobacco? Um, <laughs> the wacky tobacco. I, 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 I don't mess with the tobacco, man. I'm smart as tobacco, man. Um, but no, it's cool. I think it. I think it goes well with it. That All might right. have something to do with it. That might have something. Or it might be because of the, we in the third episode or fourth. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that too, right? They just, cool. they just feeling good. <laughs> the price point for it. And that's what's up. Very well. With that's what's tobacco. up. Okay. Yeah. All right, so for the price point, yeah, thirty eight dollars is you know it's manageable and shit. You know my price point is probably even lower than that. I like shit that's twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, shout out to Evan Williams. Like, I fucking love that shit. But this shit right here, uh, <laughs> let me see. I, I say this. First of all, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Right? I'm gonna give it a two and a half because um, it's not. It's not. It's not bad. Like it. It, it ain't nasty. Like you know what I'm saying? It don't taste nasty. It's just not good for me. Um, so two and a half for me. I will say that if I'm doing an old fashioned or something, like if you threw this in there, I, I probably wouldn't. But like I wouldn't know, so I, I'm cool with that. Like you make an old fashioned with it, I'm probably straight with it. Um, and kind of off of the palate of it, I think it, it'll probably go good in the old fashioned and shit. So I, I think I think that's good for a mixed drink. Um, to have it on my bar will probably be because Angry Principal gave it to me as a gift, <laughs> and, I, and I kept it. And I was like, ah, oh, it's, it's in there in the back. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's one of the things that's gonna be at the liquor store. You order it and shit, and they gotta wipe the dust off of it. That's what it'd be at my house because I ain't, I ain't drinking it and shit. But uh, for I'll me, I'll save yeah. it when I come over. Right? Yeah, exactly. I'll save it for you. Right? Or the two big family members. Just <laughs> Two bit family members. Right, two bit family members. That's and angry person. Damn, I'm, I'm too big. Right, two bit family members. 
<laughs> uh, but on that note, yeah, I'm giving it a two and a half. Like even the price point is good though. Like I said, um, if I because I do kind of want to get into, it, and I think we might uh, experience this or look into <clears throat> having this experience later on in the season is uh, to start doing some old fashions and start making some mixed drinks to kind of see how this goes. I think we'll be at. What's up? We'll be at. I know, right? No, we need her though. We we actually do need her. I'm a, I'm a recruiter. And see if we can get some like some old fashioned shit made in some of these episodes. Uh, for this, I think for sure, like throw my shit in the old fashioned. I think I'm I'm a roll with that. But to buy it just to be sipping on it, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not. So I give it a two and a half. Uh, you know, a solid two and a half though, especially because the price point is cool. Like I spend forty dollars. You know, that's just that's stock money. So I can go ahead and spend forty. <laughs> Shout out to the best of the world. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my thing. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. So it's it's not it's not Kyber built. Like I'm not about to secretly pour it down the drain after we end the episode like I did that <laughs> shit. But this this I'm gonna go ahead and drink. But um yeah, I'll give it a two and a half. Um a recommendation for me, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Like if you make it if you if you shout the V, if you got a mobile var uh mobile var, if you got a mobile mm-hmm. bar, I would recommend this for making your uh your uh, old fashions, but that's about it. Like I wouldn't just have it on deck just to have it. Um, we make a kind of across the board on this one. It looks like everybody else love it. Um, I don't hate it. I just don't really, you know, like it. Yeah, so. I don't love it, but like, it's, it's, <laughs> hey, it's, it's pretty damn good. Drinking so, is subjective. It, it is. Like it. Uh, and uh, on that note, it's time to uh, get up out of here and get ready for our happy hour, which is going to be pretty exciting. Who? Because we got a whole bunch of shit to talk about. You know what I'm talking about? So, y'all going to be a little confused and shit, right? So, you, when you see this, it's going to be like three weeks from now. <laughs> right. So, the happy hour is going to be like today. <laughs> already shit. happy. Right? You know, so, y'all going to be waiting for something else, but like, we yeah. might not have nothing else after this. So, yeah. it's like, y'all, okay. you know. Right. Our happy hour is happening live. Yeah, it's happening right. live. Yeah. And today is actually, uh, what is it, July 25th. So, if you're watching this, yeah, you ain't gonna see this till August. You're not gonna see this till August. So yeah, you missed out. So make sure that you do subscribe to our uh, YouTube page, man. Uh, I'll just list it on the bottom, of course. Also, make sure you check us out on IG Beards Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, make sure you pull up on that, and then follow us. You'll get an update every time we go live and every time a, a, uh, an episode drops. Damn, we in motherfucker right. episode four. You can go tell. ahead and subscribe because if nothing else, we entertaining as fuck. No, we are. Like, we, we, I know y'all been entertained. Y'all been laughing. Yeah, and, yeah. You know what I'm and go ahead and hit that subscribe around. button down below. And then you go fuck around and learn something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how Abraham Lincoln had. Or you might not. Hanging but you gonna have a good time. He <laughs> said that you might not. Yeah, you might not. But you gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah we up out of here, dog. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Beers, bourbon, whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. <laughs> We're about to stay, man. I got angry principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> My man Square holding it down. All day. My man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live for the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. Watch out for them oak trees. <laughs>